Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where it's time to face off against the German fleet. This is about half of it, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Um, pretty, uh, pretty large battle. I guess they're a little bit irked by my uh, dismantling of their colonies, and Germany is nothing to be sniffed at. They've uh, been taking a lot of territory um, in Europe. So, uh, yes. Going to have to be careful about this. I discussed at the end of the last episode how I was going to approach this. And uh, I don't see any reason to vary from the plan. So I'm going to try as best I can to eliminate the destroyers basically do it in reverse order so kill the destroyers first then the light cruisers then the heavy cruisers and then move on the battleships because i think i think that's what i'm gonna have to do prepare for battle oh please tell me you haven't crashed game could just be a huge battle that it's having trouble with or it might be crashing hmm uh, tell you what, I'm going to wait for a bit, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, the game was just having a moment. I just had to force quit it and uh, <clears throat> re reload it, and it was fine. So, don't know what was causing that. Um, okay, weird, weird layout, Germany. That's really weird. Um, cool. Right, uh, let's just go one big long line. Look at that. Oh, yes. And let's get turned. Because, uh... Yeah. Well, I'm going to let them free fire for a bit. Because uh, the destroyers aren't going to be visible. But I'm assuming they're going to attack pretty aggressively. Whoa! Who took an ammo debt? Toza, three inch guns. That was a lucky hit from the enemy. Or oh, unlucky hit, depending on your point of view. Poor old Toza. Lost most of her casement ammunition. Main's still firing, that's the main thing. The cruisers, yep. Take out the cruisers. Lovely stuff. Got any hits on the cruisers? Uh, one or two. It'll take a while to build up any accuracy. Or they've switched to fire, which is also possible. AI. Uh, the target switching when you've manually signed a target is kind of annoying. Because, you, you know, you'll build up your accuracy bonus and then they'll switch targets, which is very irritating. Should be getting some hits, though. One would hope. Bear in mind that this number here is a lie. <laughs> for playing the mod. Still a lot of them falling short. Oh, that was a good hit. Fuji hitting the Blucha. Oh, there we go. Finally, who did that? Mikaho. Princess Wilhelm. 
Oh, and then gets slammed in the secondary tower and the main belt. Shikishima with the kill shot there. Down she goes. Right, there's a destroyer. Kill it. Oh, ho, ho. boom goes the blue cut. Just to actually notice that these are much more modern ship. That's a much more modern ship, the blue cut, just with 10.2 inch guns. Interesting. Had 10.2 inch guns. E21. Come on, I need it dead. Well done, Mikaho. Okay, finish. Well, we don't need to finish off the Blucher, but we might as well. There we go. There's destroyers kind of spotted. Again, they are the focus. Got to eliminate those small ships before we can make a move on the enemy battle line. A light cruiser. Okay. Oh, dead light cruiser. <laughs> Down goes the Rostock. Oh, some are actually getting behind me. Clever. on them though. They're taking some damage from their capital ships. Gonna have to switch up to uh, launching some stuff in their direction now I think. No armor. What about the Odin here? That's ah, okay. Oh no, it's bad quality. Nickel steel, really? Very weird to see nickel steel and coincidence fall together. gonna bunch up and let me cross their T. They're gonna take quite a lot of hits. Saxon and Friedrich Karl taking the brunt of it at the moment. I am concerned about those light cruisers. But I think we're in the if we can break the back of their Attack here. Oh, Hildebrand taking a big hit. Looks like she's next. Oh, main belt pens. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> yeah, she's falling out of the line. The Irene coming in. You don't want to get that close, mate. It's not going to go well.
Down goes Irene. Still got this blob of slightly heavier ships here. Fallen off. Mikaho taking a lot of hits. Ah, shit. Here come the torps. Right. Oh, that one diverted away. Very good. Wow, those are fast torps. Yikes. Don't like... Don't like that at all. Yeah, you two. Switch up to killing those cruisers. Try and put some distance between yourselves and them. DD's still lurking at the edge. Nice. Oh, we've, we're all individual. I don't remember doing that, but okay. We're going to fight individually. Oh, that was a good shot. Yeah, all three of the German battleships have taken heavy damage. Mind you, Mikaho here has taken heavy damage as well. I want you out of the fight, Huo, as well. Try and cover your retreat as best I can. Ah, these little fucks. Kill it. That is too much damage. Shit. It's getting uh, corralled. Light like cruisers are a real problem. Slightly too much armor for me to just insta kill them. Oh, nicely avoided me, Kaho. Right. Get out of the fight, both of you. Okay, Cormoran sinks. The Wiesbaden I need dead yesterday. Come on, sink, you bastard. Oh, fuck. Mikaho got hit by a torp. Shit, she's in real trouble.
need to move to help it if I can. That'll help. Saxon obliterated. Kill the Strasbourg. I had a torpedo hit. Shikishima. Oh, she shrugged that off quite well. Just hit her right on the front. But uh, I actually want her to start withdrawing as well. Fuck. Nakaho surrendered. I mean, fair enough. She had taken a hell of a lot of a hell of a beating. But that is embarrassing because you don't get those back. Uh, that is them scuttling the ship. Uh, if you are playing this, it's not as easy as the regular game. Definitely not. Fuji, Nassau, Fuso, Markgraf, Nagato, Hildebrand, Tosa, the Odin. We need to uh, even the score here. Okay, Strasbourg sinks. That's good. Kolberg next for you two. Tosa hitting the Odin. I think the Odin's done for. Odin is toast. Oh, that was a big hit. Fuji hitting the Ness out. Down goes Ness out. Oh, they got the Kolberg. Excellent. Yeah, I want to finish off the uh, Mark Graf and the Hildebrand, and then we're going to withdraw. Mark Graf might go down due to flooding. Yep, there she goes. Oh, that was a good shot. Fuji. Right into the boiler room. Almost out of ammunition on our... Oh no, that's the Hildebrand that's almost out of ammunition. We're alright. That's good. Mm, still not enough. 
cat might be. Got him. Okay, all ships withdraw. F's in the comments for the Mikaho. She fought bravely, but yeah, she goes down. Hmm. Scuttles and sunk. Crew abandoning ship. They will be picked up, I'm sure. Uh, what did she take all the damage from? Yeah, that took two... Oh, it was actually two torpedo hits. She held up pretty well. But, uh, yeah, two torpedo hits and just... A lot of, just a lot of hits. <laughs> like the ship was still going, but the crew, yeah, only standard quarters on, on the Mikahos. Um, just too much firepower for them to uh, see off. <laughs> right, destroyers are giving chase. But in terms of loss, Makaho's 218, but the German battleships were 183 each. So we'll definitely come out on top. But yeah, if you're going into this mod and you're expecting instant wipes every time you go into a battle, yeah, not really what happens. Very common uh, and from my testing in custom battles that you, you lose something. Um, if you're getting into a big fleet engagement, it's quite risky. Probably going to lose some ships. Should lose the destroyers eventually, but uh, I will time lapse slash skip to the post battle results screen. Oh, that actually took no time at all. Okay, cool. And Oh boy, yeah, so we give away nearly 12,000 victory points, but we get 78, so yeah, definitely a victory, uh, loss of one battleship, and we wiped four of the battle of the German battleships, all six of their armoured cruisers, all eight of their light cruisers, and just a few of the destroyers remaining at the end, so not a total wipe, but pretty close. Um... No, they're still shooting at the destroyers in the background. So damage received. Yeah, Mikaho near at 19,000 before she surrendered. It's just a lot of... A lot of damage. I mean, she took... Didn't take that many hits from battleship guns. It was mostly smaller stuff. And the two torpedoes. Um, just need better armor on her so she can block block more. A lot, she's getting a lot of partial pens, which are killing the crew. Um, in terms of damage still, the winner is the Huo. <laughs> Mostly with the 14s. Cool. Good job. And most accurate... Wow, the Saxon. Impressive. Uh, but from our ships, it was the Tosa. Again. Decent ranged engagement. And we're talking about 10%. Seems seems about right. Okay. Uh, wow. Back to the map, I guess. Well, well, well. The AI has been taking its big boy pills today. <laughs> As the battlecruiser fleet uh, that I have down here, uh, which I didn't even get a chance to talk about, uh, somehow the Soviet Union got to attack Anam. Uh which seems a bit harsh but uh yeah they they it's fine by me because that means that because they stupidly declared war on me i can immediately navally invade it so we have down here the reserve fleet and the battlecruiser fleet 
I wasn't expecting them to send a couple of battleships to deal with me, but uh, sure, you wait ages for a <laughs> you wait ages for a capital ship battle. I mean, uh, somebody who, who uh, in fact, Leifer, you you you'll know. Um, when was the last capital ship on capital ship battle that we had as Japan? <laughs> Pretty sure it was when the uh, the Kanko and her fleet were engaging the enemy, and <laughs> you get two in the same month. Anyway, we have Arakawa Naka, the Yari, and the Karasawa. So we've got fourteen and twelve inch. Firepower. Again, strategy very much the same. I'm gonna stay back. Blast them to bits. In fact, I'm gonna slow down to cruising well, not cruising speed, but we're gonna slow down to 21 knots. See if we can get our accuracy up. Oh, they're trying to kill the uh, destroyer. Back you come. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Who's exploding in the back? Oh, is that a battleship? I think it is. <laughs> oh, dear. Russia. <laughs> Didn't see it. It's not even in the damage log. But yeah, they got hit <laughs> by a shell and explode immediately. Yeah, you're not as good as the Germans, are you? <laughs> Germans, Germans appear to be worthy of foes. Oh, is this one the top? Oh, yeah. Okay, I know. I know why they're trying to kill it. It's a torpedo destroyer. <laughs> right. Let's focus on their small ships and return the favour. Round we go, and let's accelerate back up to full. Open the distance a bit. No, kill that. Shoot what I tell you to shoot. Or the thing next to the thing I'm telling you to shoot, that's also fine. <laughs> Boom! Nice. Okay, destroyer successfully obliterated. Oh, we launched our own torpedoes. And even hit! Nice. Yeah, decent spread. Oh, that cruiser! Oh, no! <laughs> cruiser saw those too late. Does it have a hydrophone on it? It does. Okay. Interesting. Right. Light cruiser. Destroy. If you wouldn't mind. Oh, protect a cruiser more like. Ooh. Taking heavy damage. Is cycling out? Hard to tell sometimes. Got it. Surely that's going to sink it. Well, even if it doesn't, focus on the next one. I'll be uh, dealing with that flooding for a bit. You've almost reloaded. That's impressive. Hmm. 
Most of our shots go wide. Not all of them, though. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, with the cruisers not dealt with, but crippled. Let's take on the uh, Oriol, seeing as she's uh, moved in fairly aggressively. Decent armor. Okay, speed. Many bulkheads. Tube power. Wow, they just got super unlucky, I think. I don't see an obvious weakness in their armor. It's actually a pretty scary ship. Which my ships are not shooting for some reason. Battleship. 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 Thank you. How is that shooting? You are shooting, trying to shoot the heavy cruiser. I, I saw you. I saw you trying to do it. Shoot the battleship. Right, you start creeping on them. Yeah, not not a great chance to pin them. I will admit. They've closed pretty close, though. Five kilometres out. That's very close. If only the carousel would actually shoot at them. She's got the best angle. There we go. Got him. Main belt pen. 5,000 damage. Engine room out. Yeah, they, uh, they've closed way too close. I think they were just having trouble going through our armour. Which is why they were closing in. They got bad... Yeah, semi-ballistic AP shells. So they, do, they don't have the uh, punching power. Wow, back at army firing off some torps. Nice. Right. You're done. <laughs> you fired all your torpedoes. Yep. Good job. No, don't kill them. Smoke. Turn your guns off. Run away. See if those torpedoes hit anything. Oh, they do! <laughs> Catching the Oriole as she's withdrawing. Oh, that one was totally going to hit the Andre, but diverted. That's the one that exploded. Oh, this is a different ship. Oriole with 11 inch guns. The Andre is 15 inch guns and no armor. No wonder it exploded. Okay, so this one's garbage, and this one's actually not bad. Which one's more expensive? 256, 145, okay. Fair enough. Ooh, don't get too close to that light cruiser. Please. Oriole sink. Yes. Good. No. Actual disobedience of ships. <laughs> and that's not the mod. The Hams and Vanilla 2. It's maddening. Come on. Wind up and shoot. See? See what a difference just having... Not much armor, just a little bit. Okay, not when they get a good shot, but... A lot of those were partial pens rather than full pens. Just makes a big difference to the survivability of a ship. Which is good. That is intended. Right. Torpedo net. Nice. Uh, these things are well armoured. Except for the quality, they're using compound armour, which is hilariously out of date. I'd actually have to check episode one, but I think that was out of date at the beginning of the campaign. Let alone in the early 1920s.
that said, they, they're not gone down yet. Doing surprisingly well on their determined slog towards my guns. Oh, okay, that's maybe a little bit more hurtful. <laughs> oh, don't turn side on. No, that's not good. Boom. Fire control damage. Oh, don't bunch up. That's worse. Almost. Hmm. Switching up to the light cruiser. I don't mind that too much. Just don't switch to the light cruiser and then switch back to heavy and switch back to the light cruiser. That's, honestly, I think that's probably the biggest problem for the AI in terms of performance and I don't mean performance in terms of like making your computer slow I mean uh, battle performance uh, is that the default target switching behavior is just it's too keen on switching targets I think like, there should be a something that makes it go, well, I already have a good chance to hit that ship, so do I really need to swap? Um, I think it's a little bit too eager to swap. I don't know if it has like a reluctance to swap modifier, but it should have one. I right, look, see, see the guns going up, up, this way, that way, this way, that way. Yeah, gunnery officer would be uh, screaming at the captain <laughs> if that's what they were actually doing. Pick one. <laughs> I'll destroy it. Just pick one. I think as well, sometimes it can be particularly... Yeah, there you go. That ship, the thing. Oh, no, we sunk it. No, you haven't sunk it. It's still alive. Now you've sunk it. Now we can finish off the heavy cruiser. Good, 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 good. And down goes Dmitry Donskoy. And that is a Soviet fleet eliminated. Oriol, not bad, actually. Didn't give too bad of an account of herself. Andre, absolutely <laughs> worthless. And yeah, I think the Germans have a much better fleet. Um, damage still, top of the pack, Karasawa. Uh, most accurate, Ara Arakawa Maka. 20. It was a bit closer this one. So got more like 20%. Again, seems okay to me. Um, <laughs> damage still, zero. Uh, it's such a bad design. So bad. Like, oh yeah, we've got 15.4 inch guns, eight of them. What about the armor? Oh, what? What? Oh no, we forgot that. Because <laughs> the Oriole, which is, is it the same hull? Looks like the same hull. So much better. Oh, dearie me. Right, uh, back to the map. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder why <laughs> the Admiral has been booted from duty. Um, okay, we get a, a free splat. Another free splat. Uh, torpedo protection 4, nice. I don't know what's going on um, with these invasions. Okay, we took control of Equatorial Guinea. Uh, um, yes, we can do that. That's That should be easy. But the invasion tonnage for Lieberville briefly spiked to like 600,000 tons, which I do not understand. So yeah, these are going normally again. Okay, uh, what do we have over there? Nothing. Um, what is my invasion chance here? 
82. Hmm. Okay, do we have any ships that are ready back here? Yes, we do. Nice. Uh, probably only need one battleship, to be honest, to do this. Uh, let's send the Kasagi and the Yukimo as an escort. Wow, so much invading going on. <laughs> Slightly ridiculous. Uh, I will continue with the invasions, though. Uh, I really want to kind of get the war with Germany over and done with. If I can. Uh, which means finishing these off. No, not what I was expecting. The Kron Prince. Uh, another Hildebrand class, along with some destroyers. Again, trying to disrupt our invasion. Go, go away. It's so many capital ship fights. <laughs> uh, this this episode is crazy. Haven't had any for, like, the whole campaign. Utterly bonkers. Okay, the fleet's a little beaten up. Uh, not everything's 100%. Uh, we've got some ships that are a little bit, little bit rough. They haven't had all their crew restored yet. Um, so, yeah, I am really needing the war with Germany to end soonish, but that doesn't mean I'm going to let them get away with uh, offering me a tasty battleship snack. Because one against six. Uh, I like those odds when it's uh, me. <laughs> Keep losing sight of them, don't we? Yeah. Weather conditions, eh, they're fine. But they're firing a shot and revealing themselves and then we're returning fire, basically. They're getting the better of it at the moment. Oh, destroy it. Kill it. Kill it. Everybody. That's good. Slow it down. Kill. Oh. Okay, Tosa. Yeah, that'll uh, that'll that'll help. Dead. Right. Is this the rest of the destroyers? It is. Murder. Oh, fuck me. Of course, a uh, dying AI ship will always fire a torpedo, if it can, <laughs> but like, their ability to do that is quite incredible. So, mainly a threat to Chikishima, I think. Didn't look like they got off a full spread, but, yeah, not fun. Right. Bunch back up. Uh, also means we're gonna, yeah, Tosa's gonna come back, and we're gonna be a little bit of a bundle of chaos for a bit. Just throwing out shells. Looking for some sort of hit. Murder.
on it dead. Fuck it fired. Who did it fire at? Fuji. Fuji? I'll fly it over there. Okay, uh Fuji. Nope. <laughs> Ah, they all fired at Fuji. Ugh. Hey, okay, Fuji. <sighs> Looks like uh, you've got the fun job. Torpedo beats begin. Slow down. Swinging your ass out. Which is dangerous. Oof. Okay. Slow down more. <sighs> Turn a void off. Battleship for <laughs> sick the, the the ship that's right there. Jesus, one that you're gonna ram, even though I've cut engine power. Oh fuck! Okay, took it on the nose like a champ. Right, ramming speed. It's out of my way! Yeah. <laughs> Should really insta-kill a light cruiser, but it won't. Ooh. Okay, the battleship is uh, quite, quite close to the Fuji. Okay, I see why they were trying to engage it. Fuji just doing their own thing. <laughs> That's bonkers. I think our uh, compatriots will finish off the uh, finish off the light cruiser for it, but she's very close to an enemy battleship. That's not good. Open out the range, please, 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 pretty please. Oh. Okay, they fired HE. Good. Okay, you got a you got a good hit there. Main belt pen. I'll hurt the Crown Prince quite a lot. Range fire support still coming in. Fuji is actually in the best position to kill the Grom Prince, though. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that was a good shot. Who did that? Huo. Nice. Ugh. <laughs> Again, have they gotten. Now they got capitalistic AP kills. 
Amazed they're not firing AP at me. Okay, that was a whiff. Ooh, that wasn't though. Ow! Oh, they sank. Thank God. Okay, Fuji was in trouble there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Fuji just going absolutely mental. I <laughs> uh, kind of love it, though. Uh, that's another German battleship gone. They don't have a lot of those left. Okay, we have at least taken <laughs> the middle Congo, which is which is nice. Um, oh, the Russians have taken Fort Bayard. Okay, well, we'll go take that next. Not, well, always be invading. Always be invading. Right. This one hasn't started. One's still going. Okay. Uh... Okay, the, the battlecruisers here are in decent shape. I need you back over here. Go join the naval invasion over here. And... There's a German fleet sitting right there. I need this to end. It's still another three months. Jesus. Okay, we have another battle. Uh, an interesting one. This is the Iwati, uh, Nishin class, and the Kiso, a Magami class, and a bunch of destroyers against two Africa class heavy cruisers from the Soviet Union, a light cruiser, and three destroyers. A little bit of uh, cruiser action. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, obviously, the Iwati is, is going to be very slow compared to all the other ships, which I'm actually just going to bunch up. Um, so I'm going to have them form up behind the Kiso. And, uh, yeah, let's see what they do. Because the, uh, the poor old uh, Iwati is, is going to take a very long time to get into uh, combat range. These things have 10-inch guns, so they are a threat. You know, a legitimate threat. Iwati only has sevens. I'm going to focus on their light chips if I can. If I can. Apparently not. Because if we can take out their destroyers, we can maybe go in for a torpedo run. Distance somewhat open. Very little in the way hit so far. I think that was a torpedo firing. It might not have been, but it sounded like one. It could also have been from my own ships. But I, I think there are torpedoes in the water. Oh, we got one of them! <laughs> With a top. Uh, avoid, please. I know that's going to cause some chaos, but please avoid the torpedoes. Okay, chaos ensues <laughs> as torpedoes were fired. We did get the better of that little exchange. Oh, we hit, but was a dud. Hagi, you took a you took a nasty hit. Fuck me, 
Smoke and leave. Yeah, trying to cycle out damage destroyers is, is pretty challenging. Okay, so back you come. I don't want to leave the heavy cruiser on its own for too long. It's trying its best. Right, come on. Yes. Love wow, look at the look at the damage that a six inch gun will do to a destroyer. Yikes. It's target lucky right now, which doesn't help. Trying to, you're trying to fire your torps, you little shit. Yeah, you fired him. I know you did. I saw you. Ah, oh, Hagi sinks. Banzai time, though. Ow. Look at these invisible ships. In vanilla, you wouldn't be able to shoot at these at all. Okay, torpedoes going in all over the place. Look how fucking close you have to get to see them. That is stupid. They're right there. Okay. They're pretty much colliding with them. That's unreal. At least you can shoot them. Oh no, Kiso. Kiso taking a lot of damage. No. No. Bugger. Did not want to lose the cruiser. Rest of the ships are, I think, withdrawing. Uh, let's try to get them to withdraw. <laughs> Mad chaos. Yeah, look. Stealth light cruisers. Absolutely annoying as shit in the uh, vanilla campaign. At least you can shoot them. Kiso, though, that she's an expensive ship. Oh, she's exploding. Lovely. Still, though, we did manage to uh, do a little bit of something. And at least that light cruiser is A, crippled, and B, visible. See if the heavy cruiser can cover the escape of the destroyers. I think they're mostly completely out of torps. Uh, not totally, but mostly. Mm -hmm. Oh, we lost a gun on the Iwati. That's not great. Yeah, bye bye, destroyer. Heavy cruisers. Jesus. Ow. AP. It's not what I like. No. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, now just all guns into it. Yeah, they have just enough armor to bounce the shells. Trying 
good torpedo range. Shoot. Fucking shoot. There you go. Flooding. More flooding. Uh. Ah, fuck. Yep. Ten inch gun's gonna hurt. Really hurt. Oh, now we've got angle problems. Fuck you. Oh, this is a plain old loss. Too much. Too much dreadnoughts in one day. <laughs> this is what I'm going to blame it on. Especially with a destroyed rear gun. This is not going to go well. They can just... Blast me to bits. Eventually I'll flood out. Maximum bulkheads be damned. Yep, down she goes. A loss. Definitely a loss. Oh, dearie me. That did not go well. Not at all. Oh well, ups and downs. <laughs> um, ups and downs. Main gun accuracy. Oh, apart from that Russian heavy cruiser. But that would be the one that got very, very close to me. Um, about right. Anyway, on that terrible disappointment, I'm going to end. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.